Hi everyone, welcome back to The Makeup Loft. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a New York Fashion Week inspired makeup look. If you guys haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button and also that notification bell so you get notified when we have a new video up on The Makeup Loft. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, New York Fashion Week's trending colors at the moment are pinks and purples, and I have this beautiful image of this beautiful model. As you can see, she's got these beautiful pinks and purples incorporated into her makeup look. I really wanted to incorporate those colors in my makeup look, but also make it more wearable. Yeah, here's my wearable take on the trend, and let's get into the tutorial. Ta-da, no makeup. So New York Fashion Week. Well, apparently the trend is pinks and purples. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm just going to grab some Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just going to use that as an eyeshadow base. This is just going to serve as a nice tacky base for all the products we're going to put on top. I don't know if you guys can see I've got swatches on my arm. So I have got two gel liners. These ones are the tattoo liners. I have got Rich Berry and Rich Amethyst. I think I'm going to grab the darker shade which is Rich Amethyst. And I'm going to do a bit of a wing line first. And I'm going to bring it into the crease. So I'm just taking a synthetic brush and I'm just trying to smudge that kind of smoke it out a bit. One of the many things that I love about this particular eyeliner is that you do have time to play around with it before it actually sets. Um, I do recommend using a synthetic brush when you do this uh, as opposed to a natural fiber hair brush. I feel like it just blends a lot better. All right, now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to grab this palette. Now this one is the City Mini Palette in Graffiti Pop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the dark shade there. And I'm going to layer this on top of that base. I remember when I first started playing with makeup, I would only ever grab browns, dark browns, light browns, maybe some champagne shades and maybe black here and there, but I would stay away from color. It's only recently that I've started to really play around with color and honestly, I love it. Honestly, speaking from experience, I think I was scared of color because I didn't know how to use color, how to incorporate it properly without looking like too out there. I mean, obviously as a content creator, I do play around with like really bold, bright colors, but that doesn't mean you can't wear color on an everyday basis. I feel like the look that I'm going to create is something that you can wear like on a night out and it's still going to look very wearable, but not very out there, but still quite colorful. Okay, so we're gonna step away from that palette for a second and then we're going to go into this palette. Now this one is the Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going to be grabbing the shade Ice Pop. And this time I'm going to put it in the inner corner of the crease, just like so. And I'm going to connect it to that very dark aubergine shade that we put on earlier. I'm going to go back into the concealer and we're going to cut that crease. So here's a helpful tip that I have learned. Put a little bit of concealer first onto your mobile lid and then look up and then you'll get a little bit of a guide on how high you can cut your crease. Once you've done that, just apply a little bit more concealer to work with. Grab a small concealer brush and then just cut that crease. Now I know color isn't for everyone, but if you'd like to experiment with a little bit of color here and there, ooh, I've actually just cut my crease. Um, I would say take it slowly. Maybe just use a little bit of a different color on your lid to start with. Maybe play with a different liner. Actually, I should probably stop talking and just do this crease before this sets. So we're going to go back into the Graffiti Pop palette and I'm going to be grabbing that really light purple shade. On a flat brush, I'm just going to grab that purple shade and I'm just going to pop this on the center panel of the eye. Also, don't be afraid to play around with different finishes of eyeshadow. I know sometimes we get stuck in the routine of just using mattes in the crease and whatnot, but sometimes using a shimmer can actually be quite pretty as well. Um, but obviously play around and see which one works best for you. All right, now we're going to go back into the Lemonade Craze palette. And I'm just going to use the same brush, but I'm going to flip it onto the other side and I'm going to be grabbing Strawberry Lemonade which is that sort of like nice rosy gold shade. It's so pretty. And if you really want the eyeshadow to pop, you can also wet your brush. So I'm just going to grab this Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. I've got the product on the brush, spritz and dab and oh girl. This is why I like to do my eyeshadow first because sometimes I blend too much and I go 
too smoky on the edges so I'm just going to grab a little bit of makeup remover on a cotton round and I'm just going to fold it onto its side and clean up the edges and then ta-da, it's nice and sharp again. All right, so at this point in my makeup routine, I normally just do the rest of my face. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we're going to talk about the under eye. Now for the highlighter, just to stick with the whole pink theme, I thought I would go ahead and use the Master Chrome Molten Rose Gold Highlighter. As you guys can see, it's so popping, and it's just, Again, just going with that theme of pinks and purples. All right, now we're going to move back into the eyeshadow and I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite tips and tricks to just get that really nice smoky lower lash line and that's actually to use an eyeliner. So with this particular one, this one again is in the shade, Rich Amethyst. I am just going to run this on the actual lash line itself. And I'm going to go back into the Graffiti Pot palette and I'm going to be grabbing that sort of like light purple shade on a smudger brush and I'm going to smudge that eyeliner out. And to add a little bit more pink element into the lower lash line, I'm actually going to be grabbing the blush and on a blending brush, I'm just going to blend the edges out. And again, it's going to mix in with that purple that we already have. And then we're going to get that nice soft gradient of like pink and purples. And then for the actual waterline, I'm going to be grabbing another tattoo liner and this one is in Rich Berry. Okay, so we're nearly done. So I'm gonna do my lips and I'm just going to grab a lip liner and this one is the Color Sensational Sharp Lip Liner in Almond Rose. And then for the actual lip color, I'm going to be grabbing the Superstay Matte Ink in Poet. <laughs> All right guys, there you guys go. That is the final look and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, don't be afraid to play around with color. Color doesn't always have to be loud and just like in your face. It can be as subtle as like an aubergine, like a dark purple sort of like color and maybe a little bit of pink in the inner corner. You know, it can always just be very simple or you can go full on like this and you know, you can still be quite wearable. It's all about um, the intensity of colors and where you place them. And you know, if you put them in like the traditional spots, like you know, dark, colors on the sides or the outer corners and then like a lighter shade in the inner corner you know it's still going to look very very wearable and then with everything else you can just keep it as plain and simple as possible you know like a light pink blush some highlighter a nude lip and you know there you go like the look isn't out there it's still wearable but you still have that pop of color on your eyes all right guys that's pretty much it for me thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button if you guys did hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family all right guys that's pretty much it for me and i will catch you guys in the next makeup lot video bye